Hello guys, I am Brenda and this is my YouTube channel, My Little Space, where I share my mind, my thoughts, my life, plus the lessons. I believe every day is a day to learn. Uh, my talent, you know, hair, makeup, expressing myself and all that good stuff. So yeah, if you bought all that good stuff, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to stay notified. Thank you for chilling with me. Well, before I get right to the video, hmm, this hair. Before I get right into the video, I would like to thank you all my supporters. Never in my life I ever thought I'll get to 400 subscribers, 400 plus actually subscribers here on YouTube. I've never thought of that, and I'd like to thank you. Fun fact: I almost lost my mind when I got to 50 subscribers. Trust me, so it means a lot to me. Thank you very much and I am doing my best and thank you very much for your patience. So yeah, with that being out there, we can get right into our today's video. Okay, basing on the title, we are going to talk about relationship quotes that are really, really toxic. I mean, however, they are meant to be communicative, but they are really, really toxic. And I totally understand where people make them from or may, where people share them from and I always don't find them really right and if you're my friend and you've ever posted something like that just know I just swept over it like swoop I've never read that I've never yeah I just don't agree with them as much and I'm gonna tell you I'm about to tell you why of course so I took I randomly picked five quotes that are really they're for they're meant for communication but they're really toxic men like they're really toxic they're really from an a hateful place from a very egoic a place full of ego yeah so yeah let's get let's just get right into it right into it okay I wrote mine on the paper but yours will be displayed somewhere there so the first one says I'm going to read as how somebody posts it, you know, the feeling, <laughs> you know, the quotes had somebody's feelings, so we're going to do that. This one says, eventually, baby, eventually, you will meet a man who is tired of games and his loyalty will match yours, baby, who hurt you? <laughs> I feel, okay. Let me put this out there. I feel okay. The people making these quotes, like the people writing these quotes, they make them for maybe educational or healing purposes. But the way we use them, man, the way we use them in social media, you just feel like somebody's really hard. Okay, this this part, like eventually, of course, you meet a man that, and this sentence is the one that gets to me. And his loyalty will match yours. First of all, I feel like this quote is made with a girl because. We girls always feel like we are always right. Let me just put it out there. Like we are always right and uh, we feel like we are always loyal. But let's face it, sometimes, man, <laughs> let me, let me, let me just end there. So I feel like, and his loyalty will match us. This girl feels like she's so loyal. Like, man, I'm so loyal for you. No, <laughs> and you can never be so loyal to anyone. I mean, too loyal. If you, if you get what I mean. So I feel like it's a selfish court and his loyalty will match us. Good luck with that. But man, <laughs> don't sound like you're an angel. Okay. Okay. So this is over. Okay. We're going to move to the next one. Okay. This one is my favorite. This will be the last one. Uh oh. No. This one is my favorite. Okay. This one says don't be the girl who needs a man be a girl a man needs period the popping way wait i'll read this one also like it it kind of matches it says the smartest thing a woman can ever learn is never to need a man okay i understand where this person is coming from so here it's like let me imagine the scenario like maybe the girl is no longer getting the attention she used to get or she's not getting the good is good is good she, she used to get so she now feel we now feel like oh by the way i was better without you so we post this kind of things man <laughs> it's a lie we need each other we need each other and i don't agree to these things 
as though i feel like the authors of these quotes had a very direct meaning like for real you like literally like genuinely open-mindedly you don't need a man but i mean you don't like need you know what i mean like but how people post it in quotes relating to relationship they feel they feel so toxic so do you think your man will act right after posting this type of of post uh girl bye i don't think so okay here is my favorite one my last one it has my feelings as well like seriously it goes this way it says there's a man out there searching for everything baby everything you are giving to a man who isn't man enough to appreciate it okay before i react the other one like the similar one it says a real man doesn't hesitate when he finds the right woman okay let me first start with the scenario maybe the scenario is things are really about to get down and you don't really understand your man so you just put something like this out there you know let me tell you what i hate about this quote i hate the fact like they are men and real men they are men that are men enough and men that who are not men enough I'm about to roast you, best friends, because I'm about to get me some male followers out here. I mean, some male subscription. Because how can you just... It's so unfair. I feel like if someone compares me to another woman, like I am less realer than another woman because of some characters I have, I feel that I'd be so offended. And it doesn't sound right. It is so much... It is so disrespectful. And if you expect a guy to act right, or if you expect to hurt people's feelings which i think this is why people post these type of things they are out there hurting people's feelings and not getting right to the point that's i don't agree with these things completely so if you feel like you're gonna send this and a man can begin to act right you are wrong and if you feel like hurting a man's feelings let me tell you i did a research and most of my male friends don't look statuses don't look instagram stories period and imagine posting such a thing such a beautiful thing and a guy doesn't view it bro save your breath i believe i know like some sometimes situations in relationship can get really you know people can really get into you they can really get into you but i think if you're gonna take an advice from me like you should be courageous enough brave enough to leave the table if respect courage uh, courage respect love all that good stuff is no longer served you should have the courage to leave the table and don't leave the table shaking everything you know like shaking everybody no just you can just slightly push your chair behind and say i'm done thank you and leave like just like that you don't really have to make a point out of that yeah that's my take <laughs> that's my take there's so many quotes i don't agree on but i didn't want this video to be so long I hope my momentum was dope let me know let me know if you could relate to these quotes if you don't agree with them as well let me know in the comment section i know i've roasted you my best friends my girlfriends but sometimes we just need to i just don't agree on these things i just don't feel that they're right if you don't like a man anymore if you feel he doesn't respect you anymore it doesn't make him less of a real man he's still a man and will be a real man to a girl that's another girl another cute girl and you you get another man that really finds you, you know, appropriate for himself. So yeah, <laughs> before I start talking all over the place, thank you very much for tuning with me. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Let me know on the things you want to see. Of course, I'm working as well on the topics I want to talk about here. But yeah, for today, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much and bye. Kisses out. <laughs>